Hi everybody, today I'm setting up uh, some sky panels for a rental and they want to run them off a basic desk because they don't want anything complicated. They're just using them in daylight mode um, and uh, basically that's, that's all they want. They just want to be able to adjust dimmers and, uh, and do a fade to black. So one of the misperceptions with the sky panels is that you can't run a basic three channel uh, DMX mode for your daylight mode. So this one's already programmed. So one channel does my uh, intensity, the other channel does my CCT, and the other channel does my plus minus green. So it is possible. However, it does take a bit of uh, messing around in the menu. So uh, let's go into the menu. So uh, DMX mode. Okay, so one of the problems you might have had is you go into the DMX mode and you try to find a basic address, a, a basic, um, uh, what's it called, profile, and they're all got massive uh, amounts of channel usage. So, um, you know, huge amount of channel usage. So even the basic, um, the basic CCT, which is your white mode, chews up seven channels. So that's, that's pretty much half of a desk, um, a basic desk like this tied up for, for one light. But there is a way around that. Go into your DMX settings, then scroll down until you get to DMX protocol version, okay? Then you select that, and then you scroll up to version 3.4, hit enter, okay, and you know you've entered it when you get this triangle. Okay, so now we back out of here and go back up to our DMX mode and um, select our CCT, which is protocol two, and now we're down to three channels only, okay? Then all you've got to do after that is of course set the address, uh, so back, I'm pretty sure this is set to address one. Okay, and uh, there we are. So now this uh, sky panel is running off uh, three channels. So there's my brightness. Channel two is my CCT. And channel three is my plus minus green. Okay, so now I can get uh, up to four sky panels on a 12 channel desk using that mode. All right, now the next um, misperception with the sky panels is running off DMX is that you can't figure out what your CCT values are. So basically what your color temperature is. All right, so if you have a look on the back of the light, a lot of people assume this because as I move the slider, there is absolutely no information on the back. Well, you see this line here, that's your page indicator. So what you do is, is make sure you're out of the menu. So that's your sort of home page on the back of the, the screen. Scroll down, so see this scrolls down? Now you can get to a point where you can read your CCT values. As I move the CCT adjustment, it moves on the screen, okay? so. What I've done here is I've used, uh, used that to pre-mark the desk. So up around here, I'll just get that lined up. That should be 5,600 Kelvin. Okay, yep, 5,600, and I've put a mark for 3,200. So they've got some basic idea of where the Kelvin is on the board. Now, the next misperception is uh, basically you can't do a fade to black. So if I wanted to to fade uh, both of these units uh, to black. Um, if I did it with the master, basically what happens is all of the channels get affected. All of the channels values change. So what happens is as I fade, to, fade the master down, my CCT changes as well as my brightness. So a lot of people have uh, the misperception that you can't do a fade to black on a basic desk because your CCT values will change. Okay, so I'll show you how to get around that. Most of these uh, old desks, or these basic desks, will have a scene master, okay, which enables you to record one scene into the, into the, uh, into the desk, and then you use the scene master to, to dial that scene up and down. So this is going back to the old tungsten light days, okay? Now you can use that scene master to record your uh, brightness values. All right, so I'm going to dial in a brightness value here, dial in a brightness value there, okay? And now I'm going to save it. Now to save it with this recorder, I hit record, and I press the channel I want to save. Then I take those out, okay? And now those channels will work on the master. Sorry, not on the master, on the scene master, okay? So I can use the scene master to adjust those up and down. Okay. Now at this point, you've got to be careful that you don't end up using the general master. So my suggestion is tape that down. But you can use the scene master to adjust your brightness levels without affecting your CCT. So if you just watch here, I'll, um, oh my CCT's a bit out. 
I'll just dial down my uh, intensity and my CCT doesn't change. Okay. Now, if I want to change the brightness on any of these units, what I then have to do is take it out of the recording, take it out of the scene master, okay, dial in my new value and then record it. Okay, and now that's uh, recorded in and controllable by my scene master. All right, so one last thing to mention, particularly if you're doing fade to blacks, is uh, if you get really low uh, on, your, on your dimmer settings, so usually below 10% uh, or 5%, you might encounter this problem with the sky panels where they don't color match. So that one's correct, that one's uh, at uh, 2800, and that one's gone pink, okay? So don't go crazy at your rental company because um, RE won't fix this issue. RE say it's within specifications. So uh, here's how you get around this issue, and it only happens uh, right down the bottom. Okay, go into the menu system, select uh, light control, hit enter, then go into special modes, hit enter, and then go into low end mode, hit enter, and select on. Okay, now what that mode does is it gives you better color rendering in your low ends. Okay, so now you can see that the, the units actually match because that one was already in low end mode. So that's something to bear in mind if you're doing a fade to black, you might need to go into low end mode. But there is a catch um, with low end mode, and that is, um, as you can see, it is not high speed flicker free. So I'm just using the rolling shutter on my, uh, on my mobile phone here to illustrate that it's not flicker free in this mode. Now, in terms of flicker issues, I've only had issues at um, uh, 120 frames a second on the uh, reds and 200 frames a second on the, um, on the RE, uh, what's their camera called? The RE Alexas. All right, so hopefully that's, uh, that's shown you how to set up a basic uh, sky panel uh, desk. Um, see you on the next episode of Gaffer and Gear.